OrientDB provides a robust interface to manage your database. Console gives you a command line interface for creating and managing databases, modifying your model, structuring clusters and indexes, exports, imports, and much more. Console is best demonstrated live. Let's work with a database. First we need to start OrientDB server. I have a copy on the desktop, so we'll change directory to the desktop. I have it in the OrientDB folder, and we'll go to the bin directory. Dot slash server dot sh will start up OrientDB server. I'll make a new tab, and from the same directory, dot slash console dot sh, that will start up the OrientDB console. Our first action will be to create a database. Create database, we use a remote connection to localhost, and we'll create a database called console demo. We'll pass in our root credentials and specify plocal as our storage. The database will be created and will be connected automatically. We'll disconnect from that database using the disconnect command. You always have access to your commands using the help function. Let's connect to our server. Connect remote localhost root hello. Now we've connected to the server level. We can use a command list databases to see all the available databases. Let's connect to our console demo example. Connect remote localhost slash databases, which is the default folder for your databases, slash console demo. And we'll use the default user created, which is admin username and admin password. We're connected to the database. We can use config to see all the configuration options of the database, or we can use config get, and for instance, storage dot use wall to get one configuration, which you can see here is true. You can use all the SQL commands as we'll be describing later. So let's create a class. Create class person extends V. We've just created a new class. We can use list classes to see all the classes in the database. Likewise, we can create a property. Create property person dot name of type string. We can get information on our class using info class and then the class name person. That will give us access to all the information about our properties in that class. Let's add some data. Insert into person name values and we'll add three people. Jim, Doug, and Sue. And you can see that the three records were created. We'll use a command browse class and we'll pass in the person class. You can see we see all three records from our person class. For the next items, we're going to disconnect and actually shut down the OrientDB server. So I'll do control C, which will shut down the server. We're going to do a backup. To do backups in the community version, you need to use a local connection. Enterprise version allows backups through the remote connection. But we'll connect using plocal. We'll go into the databases folder to console demo and use the same username password. Now we've connected. Let's back up our database. Backup database. And we'll specify where we want the file kept. Slash users slash presentation user slash documents slash console demo dot zip. The files are compressed and saved as a backup. We'll disconnect and we'll connect using a remote connection. First we need to start up OrientDB server again. So dot slash server dot sh and back into console connect remote localhost slash databases slash console demo admin admin we're connected to the database again select from person and you see our three records let's load one record load record we'll pass in an ID number 11 1 which will load the Doug record we can also do exports and imports export database and where we want the file, slash users, slash presentation user, slash documents, slash console demo dot export. The file's written. We can import that back 
by using import database and passing the same directory. I'll just copy and paste it. And that's how you import. Let's disconnect and exit. That's a quick look at console. It's a very convenient tool and I recommend you learn it.